What's up everyone? We're gonna do another video today, a little install video of our uh, lower winch bumper with, uh, this is the adapter kit to work on a regular 1000 XP or turbo. Uh, the Turbo S doesn't require this. Uh, it uses the mounting hardware, but it does not require, this is the adapter bracket that you have to change out to be able to use this style. Uh, this works with our bumper. You could use it with someone else's bumper, I'm sure, I don't know. Um, so we'll get started. The things we need for tool wise is a, a T25, a T40, a 13 millimeter, a 9 16 and a 15 millimeter wrench impact. It can all vary depending on your situation. So we'll get fired off in the beginning. We'll take the T25. We're gonna pop this cover off. Two small bolts and down here. You will not need this anymore. So once you get this off of there, it will not go back on there with our winch bumper or our our lower regular bumper so we'll just toss this over here out of the way so once we get that out you can see what we're going to change is we're going to change this front plate right here so we have to take the four bolts out of it which are 13s and then the two upper a-arm bolts which are a 15. so we'll go ahead and get the two a-arm bolts loose Okay. So when removing this, you just want to take the nuts off of it. You don't want to actually pull the bolt all the way out because then you would have to obviously get it all back together so it makes it a little harder so we're just going to pop the nuts off both sides of the upper a-arm front mount like i said we're just going to pull the nuts off set them over here to the side and we'll grab 13 Take a 13, pull these four center bolts out, throw that one across the room. All right, so once you get those four bolts out, we're gonna take and remove this plate. So a lot of times you can push these A-arm bolts back a little bit, but I wouldn't push them all the way in but it doesn't hurt to slide them back a little to make it easier to get that plate in and out. That's why I say you need the T40. Take this T Torx 40 and you take these two lower bolts out right there. And that'll allow you to pull out the fascia a little bit so that you don't have to pull the fascia all the way off just to get that plate out. So like I said, now you can pull it out a little. You should be able to maneuver it. Easy thing, pop the grill out to the side and pull this plate out the top so that's the factory plate and this is the adapter plate as you can tell the main difference is this whole top section the reason we don't mount the bumper to this is because it just has no strength you know it's not box gusted to anything our bumper is going to mount off the frame right here so while we got this plate off before we put ours on to ease up the process a little, we're going to take our upper mount bracket right here. And this is what holds it on. So we're going to go ahead and pull the bolts out of it. And we're going to get it loosely put in the frame. We're not going to tighten it down. We're going to leave it loose just to hold it in place. So we'll take, it goes up through here. It's a little tricky to get it through this front hole. If you can't do that, you can always come from the bottom or from the back to get it in there. It's it's just long enough it will go through the front but it's just tight so like i said you set it up in there it lines up with the holes and i usually spin this down just a finger tight and i'll tighten it up after we get the bumper on there so we get that in there finger tight like that we'll let it just chill so now the next thing is putting on the orb plate it's tapered just like the factory one to hit the a-arms so we put it on there the same way. It's pretty obvious which way it goes. Slide it out. 
stick the two a arm bolts through and get that through we'll get that on there and then we'll go through to put the four screws in it miss it on i got you buddy Depending on like this one, where we've got the arms in there so tight, you may have to pull down on this sometimes. See, so it's pretty close, but it's picked up a little where the A-arms are. So what you can do is if you can't get the bolts to line all back up, you just grab a small alignment bar, put a little pressure on it, start the two bolts, and now I'll go in. You can see the little offset. It's because of these loose. And be brought down. So what we'll do, like I said, we'll grab this small little alignment bar right here. Just pull down on it. Get that started. These are just self-threading bolts, so they don't have to be super Lined up. Got my impact. Line it up from the bottom and put the top one in, or try to just put one on the other side. Again. Once you get one started, that will go right in there. So, get those four in there. We'll grab the two front upper A arm bolts. Get them started back. Watch out with this big old impact wheel. It'll break some stuff. It's good to always go back and check all your bolts by hand. So now that we've got that bracket in there, it's time to actually start installing the bumper. So we've already got the upper mount in there, so it's a pretty simple installation. Grab the bumper. Um, if you have a winch, I would suggest going ahead and putting it on there. And if you have our top bumper, probably already have it on there too, or at least have it ready to start. So grab the two upper mount bolts. Oh, sorry, about forgot a step. Gotta put your plastic bolts back in. There. They just won't be in there because you can't get to them. So we'll grab the T40. There you go. Get to put these two back in here. Do you think, do you think? Won't really hurt anything if they're not there, but. It won't hurt anything. Just. Keep your lower plastic fastened, secure. Got those plastics in there. And we we'll grab the two upper mount bolts. Pretty simple design. You just set it up on top of there like that. Slide it in, hold it up against it. Like I said, leave those the nut bracket below loose for the point of uh, trying to uh, get these bolts started. Sometimes that helps a little. It is a really tight fit, so it can be tricky. Um, especially with the powder on there. Can't see the hole. Oh, it's gonna 
Twist it on me. Like I said, make sure to leave this loose. Sometimes it'll be moving around on you acting crazy. Like this is actually easier with it sitting down lower. <laughs> Not trying to look at it from below. There it goes. Might be sitting a little too high up to get a I can't see down in there. Visual, visual there. Like I said, once you get these two top ones started. Start for me. Oh, there we go. Definitely easier not up in my face. Even somebody does it all the time, has a trouble every once in a while. So we'll make sure those are good and started. Grab a 9 16 Not gonna tighten them up, just gonna fill them, make sure they're actually started in there good. Backwards Craftsman wrench. That one's started. That one's started. All right, so got the top two in there. Now with the conversion plate, it comes with this little plate for the lower. Um, the lower is a little bit tricky, especially if you've got big hands and arms like I do getting behind this, this uh, in front of the diff behind the plate. It goes around in between, in front. It's your lower mount too. Get down here where I can see. So the lower plate, Don't way too high. All right, there we go. Like I said, this is just, this just gets it started. Get that started right there. It can set a little crazy just from sitting up there. Tired, can't hardly reach. Ain't it nice of us to show the real struggles of putting this stuff on in real life? There we go. Can't really put my big hands off in this hole there we go up there. Fight it and fight it, and then it just falls right together. I don't know what it works on. <laughs> so those angles, trying to work those angles, not being able to see and stuff. Yeah. Alright, so that's pretty much the gist of it. It should be laying pretty square. You can move it around just a little to kind of gap it equal from side to side. Once you got uh, got all the gaps where you like them, you just grab a 9 16 uh, Obviously the bottom you're gonna have to do with a ratchet or a wrench because it's a little tight down there. Tighten up the top. Tighten it down. Once you get the actual bolts tight, go ahead and tighten up the bracket. Like I said, I'd leave that bracket loose until I got the two in there. Uh, then you can actually, look seriously, I can't get in there. So I have to use a ratchet. Tighten up the bottom two.
Now you can, after you get the bumper on there, you can still get around the back side of it to put a winch on there. It's a little tight, but it's very doable. Uh, same thing, the grill comes in and out. Uh, you can always add our upper bumper later, or if you get the upper bumper, uh, that is an option. Another thing we do uh, weld on too, uh, you can get the option of two uh, clevis mounts to go right here on the front. So if you want somewhere to pull from or to be able to snatch block from, it's just two D-rings that we weld onto the front. Uh, that's an additional option. But that's about the gist of it. It's a pretty simple install, pretty self-explanatory. probably struggle more with this one than I do normally. That's what happens when you're on camera. And uh, that's it.